I know you all have heard of the famous Fufu Festival. Then there's Kinke Festival, there's Wakche Festival also. But have you ever experienced the Akule Festival? You already know I'm always everywhere the action is just to capture everything and bring to you to enjoy and today is no exception guys. So today we are at the Akule Festival celebrating the Voterian culture and one of the most unique Ghanaian dish invented by the Ewe tribe and traditionally consumed without utensil and it is staple food in Southern Ghana and areas in Togo, Benin Republic and even some part of Nigeria. This is my first time coming in contact with this food. You know I'm a Voltarian by heart, I'm an Ewe gay at heart. So of course I enjoyed every bit of videos, food, local band entertainment, meeting new people, creating lasting memory, celebrating a culture so rich you would love to be part of it, and also celebrating the country as a whole. We had so much fun, so sit back, relax and enjoy, as this is going to be a very long vlog, a super fun vlog also, capturing and giving you every bit of day event that to the night event also covering it all you know how i do it was so much fun we danced we partied met new people we ate with strangers it was amazing i will get into the video properly if you've not subscribed yet don't forget to subscribe like and comment and let's get on with it guys Is on another level. Hey, tribe, welcome to the good life indeed. I know that intro was super long, but I wanted to give you an insight on what the whole vlog is about. Before we get on with it, so we've arrived. I arrived a bit late, so the place was bombing already, which was perfect. I think I arrived at the perfect time. So now let's go look at tickets and let's get party. And I'm really excited. If this is your first time on the channel, you know what to do already. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's go inside, guys. One thing I love about this country is how happy everyone can be when there's party or when there's any festivity. We all get very hyper. All of us will just become party animals. This ceremony is just getting started. It's an all-day event and an all-night event. It was a late night anyway. The ceremony is just getting started. They were partying already. I'm basically just working in. So this group of you know local band entertaining some persons here. This is the first one. We have several line up for throughout the day. It's going to be exciting. We won't get on with the tour of this place. So I can show you the whole ground, show you the different foods available, everything that's going on. Let's be here and party a bit. so much fun that was so fun but yeah let's get on with it like let's go inside let's go see what's inside and let's look at jenny and andrew and let's get the party started i'm just saying let's get the party started because i'm excited already anyway let me walk you to a show of the place Yeah. 
yet another group of Italian people here, another band who just parted. But yeah, there are different food stands available, different options, the different vendors, different stands of their really other local Ghanaian delicacies, their local drinks, their games. It's a family friendly event and it's an annual event. It's not just a limited for the volunteers or by people from the water region or the area. It was actually attended by people from different walks of life. You could see different races, you could see people from different countries, different continents. Everyone is here to sample the Akele and I'm like, what have I been doing? It's amazing basically. If you are new to this, yes. everywhere they did it, they allowed it. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kweku Buate. On your stage, there's an And of course, there was Kelly really on ground. There's no Ghanaian party with Kelly really. Like, what are you doing? There's no Kelly really for people to snack on what they get the main food. Or even after eating, they put a snack on it. Kelly really is like our favorite Ghanaian snack. Street snack, right? So yeah, it's Kelly really. There were different Kelly really stand. I told them I'm going to take you around and show you everything happening here. Just so if you're planning on attending, you know what to expect next year. I cannot wait to attend this next year. That's if I'm in Ghana. Hopefully, I'll be in Ghana for the next event and I'm definitely going to attend. So, this should be on your bucket list if you're planning on visiting Ghana. You can research, time for festivals. Festivals in Ghana are one of the most fun events you do not want to meet. I know a lot of people like, oh, let's wait for December in Ghana because December in Ghana is fun. December in Ghana is actually quite fun. But there are different festivals that happen throughout the year you can visit during the summer if you are not from this part of the world where you have summer holidays and you are looking forward to visit Ghana you should visit when there are different festivals going on you have to you get to sample different Ghanaian delicacies you got to like witness a very rich culture undiluted culture you get to party like never before and you know enjoy the motherland
Somehow, Jane convinced me to buy this tiny boss, boss kind of thing for coin. <laughs> Basically, this is a children gift shop. I do not know what I'm doing here if you ask me. But it's cute, just to keep your coin safe. Like I said, there were different stands, different things, different vendors, not just food. They were gift set. We will get to all of that very soon. Bougie, well, save you. 
the amount of money i usually spend in this event because i'm like the easiest person to convince to buy things that i basically donate like if vendors is very nice i'll be like oh let me patronize them because these people they paid a lot of money to come here to sell things so yeah i'm one of the guests here i should patronize i don't just like filming and just working away i basically like patronizing almost all the vendors as much as i can basically and i always end up spending money buying things i sometimes forgot i bought from this festival but then it's cute it's more of supporting small business owners also so yeah Now that I've shown you the vendors market go, I've basically shown you the vendors market, different vendors, available and the different things they have on Ghana and teams. Now let's go join the party because one of my favorite part is on stage. You don't want to miss any part of this next session. It's amazing. Let's go.
This band, they are just warming up. I am telling you, they are just coming up because the main party will get started towards the evening. Right now, you're is trying to get food, eat, and do all of that. If you watch the Watch it Festival video that's on the channel right now, you basically know them already. They are the bomb. They, they do Afrobeat so well. It's amazing. But then, while the party is getting hot, it's not really as hot as it should be yet, but it's going to get there in a bit. One of the highlights of this festival is group eating. Like basically, people gather together eating from same bowl to show the African together. And because one of the major Western African culture is we all eat together in the same bowl. I think it shows like uh, togetherness, family, acceptance. But it's only someone that has really accepted that can let you eat in the same bowl with them, right? Let's head to that section now. Oh my goodness, we're about to do the whole group eating thing where we have different big, huge bowl of Akule. Akule. Anyway, let's go. So the Akule is consumed with them. Um, it's eaten with uh, different varieties of side dishes or pepper sauce as they know them here. There are different ways of preparing them basically. But on this table right now we have three different varieties you can see very well. But when I saw the crowd I was like no I'm just going to film and later I'm going to go get something for myself and maybe put on their hand. Jenny and eat separately because the people were like too mad. I'm like, how are we supposed to do this? But it was fun. It was a, um, there was this whole street of togetherness, people from different walk of life that don't know each other at all. Basically, just eating and enjoying themselves because Akure is one of my favorite dishes right now. Basically, you really want to try it out. Oh, you don't stop them! 
that time this group food was free it was completely free basically if you in here it means you purchase a ticket so the group food was basically free everyone was basically just eating but this is the only free one in here that's the group one or during the game that's coming on later i was going to play a game flip the bottle challenge where you flip and you eat a cream i love the fact that the, the organizers of this festival they make something like this are valuable it brings the whole you know fellowship or togetherness or the people just having fun eating together completely free your ticket covers it basically but if you do not want to eat among them like this you want to get something different for yourself that's what the various stand of their place for you can go back play by however much you want to just enjoy with your family and friends but this group is then basically both kids were involved families were involved husbands wives boyfriend girlfriend everyone basically was just dipping there and eating i'm like oh my goodness i don't know why i could not do it because there were just too many people dipping behind the same board but it was fun to see
Okay, so that was the last song no. for you. So this one, let's do it one more time. This one, I, I want you to scream hard. Eh? Scream hard so that when you're even dead and they wake you up, you can say it. In future, what's that here? When I say GG, you say brass. GG, GG. When I say GG, you say brass. GG, GG. Follow us on all social media. Somebody else should try to request that song. Hey, you, you don't want us to go home. Now. You don't want us to go home. Charlie, I'm even tired. Now that I'm tired, my mom is Sasu. <laughs> hey, you see the live on. So, are you ready, GG Brown? Oh, oh. 
Let's go get up really. It's this game, it's been so far. Jenny played a bit, she didn't win nothing. Let's go back, please, so we can eat and then we'll come back and continue the party. I hope you enjoy it. You are still enjoying this vlog because it's getting so long, but now it's becoming way more fun. I do not take any part of this vlog. I waited till this late to come again for because I was thinking oh now when everybody is partying the food stand will be a bit free so we don't have to stand and queue then we basically had to queue for this appeal basically they are selling from one port maybe that port is another one is getting ready so you have to stand and wait for your turn this one was already empty there was a fresh pot another one getting ready you basically had to queue and wait for your turn and buy anything that's available because it's getting late and lots of people are still trooping in this festival it's been so fun but this actually i must eat it before i leave this place basically so this is how they prepare it these are some of the condiment or protein but this is minimum really aquile this is how they prepare i think it's similar to the way they prepare baku but i think they use different flow because this one is not uh, as fermented as baku is i don't know the whole process but i'm going to try and make a video where i will try and make this because i really love it and i'll be buying it so much i would really love to learn how to make it but this is the process basically
We were pleasantly surprised by the taste of this food, basically. And there are a lot of lies because obviously, Akile is supposed to be consumed in a very hot weather, just so it can keep flies away because of the the fermented fishes they use for the uh, I don't know, spicing or condiment. I don't know the whole names of them, but then it was supposed to be eating when it's very hot. That's when it's sunny to keep flies away. But as you can see, the weather wasn't too sunny now. I think it was getting quite late, but we've been here all day. It was about 5 p.m. now, I think 5 5 30 p.m. So the sun has gone down, everywhere was so damp. So that was why there are lots of flies. But we didn't mind, basically, we're Africans, we're used to things like this. There is nothing absolutely wrong with it. But we loved and we devoured this for one. Now that we're done eating, let's go back and join the party because a new band has arrived. Basically, a new band has arrived, and the night session of this festivity is the battle begins. So let's go.
person that the night part of this festival is basically on the channel where they have the full performance of this band on the channel they are that dance band so go check their app because we're here for a couple of hours there is no way i can fit all of that in this vlog so i have the band part this party part of the night festivities already posted before the main vlog yeah I had that one edited and posted first before the main vlog where i get to show you all the activities so i'm not going to be including all of that in this vlog but let me know if you want me to include the other part of the vlog also but it's way too long it's an hour vlog oh my goodness but anyway i hope you enjoy it don't forget to like comment and subscribe let's go I like Gigi Brass. I feel like these ones they bring like a different vibe. Yeah, they bring. I, I feel like they encompass all sorts of music, and I think because they sing, it's then way it better. Makes, yeah, Me but more also, I feel like Gigi Brass, the guy who came to sad to sing, okay. uh, yeah, on yeah, board yeah. me. I promise you. So I feel like they're building up, and then the the MC who's the drama also. That guy is amazing. Yeah, and guys, know his name. And this is this is this is also an event that is not just for young people. Families were well, so yeah, everyone. Is you know, here. everyone is here. So there's no like, it's not ratchet or anything. It's so family friendly. But even if you feel it's not old, it's not also boring. Yeah, it's, it's not boring. Fun. See, we're leaving because we're tired, but it's still fun. Like we still want to yeah. be here. We've been here since I came by theory. We've been we're here, here by like nine thirty-two. Imagine until now. It's after eight. Yeah. We're not even tired. Yet. And the we're tired. Is, 
Our play is now our favorite dish. Oh, yeah. Our, our okay. Our play is now our favorite dish, there's, right? I feel like there's a reason I said I'm from Water Ridge. If anybody said, Are oh, you Ghanaian? I'm like, Yeah, where are you from? So I'm an Erege. Now I love their food. It's so nice. Oh my goodness. I feel like I have to look for where they sell them close to my yes, house it's or so within nice. Accra. It's, so it's nice. like my favorite Ghanaian dish now. Yeah. Next to Washi. Yeah. Washi is like, okay. <laughs> Unpopular opinion. Yeah. Independence celebration in Ghana is better than December. It's on in Ghana. another level, basically. Better. This weekend has been from one festival so, to another. If you're considering ever coming to Ghana, forget December in Ghana. Plan for independence in Ghana. We started with Fufu. No, we started Washe with Wache. Festival. And the day there was Wache, there was Kenke, Kenke there festival. was Gobe Festival that yeah. we can go to. Then on Sunday, there was Fufu Fellowship together with Aquaba Festival. Yeah. Then today, today there was. Monday. Um, the name is Aquila behind festival, us. Aquila and then Aquaba was still continuing today. Mm -hmm. Just listen, they are back to having fun. So I feel like this event, if you want to enjoy like an authentic Ghanaian experience, forget December in Ghana, Independence Day in Ghana, Independence Weekend, Independence Weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday Monday. Monday. It be like from one to another. Yeah, I really enjoy. What's been your favorite part of the weekend so far? Which I, event has been your favorite? I can't pick one, but I'll say the moment that stood out is as content creators we go to work. Yeah. But this weekend, I swear, like we've had good food. Yeah. The music was so nice. We were dancing. We've met also nice people. Nice people. Also. So I feel like we were working but having fun, having fun. and that's the highlight. So it didn't feel like we were working. Yeah. Feel like we were just when we're done filming, we always just go, go home. home. <laughs> and now it's so late. Like, when was the last time we left an event this week? Never. We've never left an event. Never. This week. Okay, I went to Apuchela, so oh, I yeah, left Apuchela yeah, yeah. so, quite late yeah, yeah. because of that. But this is like a regular event. No, yeah, but like food festivals and stuff. This like is that. the first time I'm staying this late. I've never because usually when we just film, we got enough content. I'm like, oh, we yeah, have like enough. Bye. Let's go. But now we've been mm. done since about six p.m. Yeah. But we've still been here partying. It's been amazing so far. And this is my first experience experiencing uh, Independence Weekend. Okay. okay. Usually I'm just home. I don't even know there are parties like this going Actually, on. Actually, I'm the one who plugged you to all these. Yeah, people. you did. And I just feel like cancel all your plans. Your book. Do you know I was finding a trip to Ada? Oh yeah. You